we have uh, quite a great item here today. This is a uh, French Aubusson tapestry. Now tell me a little bit about it. Tell me where you bought it. We bought it in Paris about eight years ago and uh, we were at the flea market down in Paris and um, I was with my husband and a girlfriend and I peeked into a shop that was closed and I saw this hanging and I just loved it because of the subject matter. We were looking for something that we would hang in our dining room. My husband's a big hunter and I like to collect antlery. So I thought this was perfect and uh, we had the shopkeeper next door uh, find the owner of the shopkeeper, the, the shop that was closed and so you tracked it down. Tracked it down. Actually, the subject matter is fabulous in this. Oftentimes, the, the problem with Obasans is that they're lovers and things mm -hmm. like that, and they're too frou frou for a lot of people. And a lot of my customers, I do a lot of business in Texas, and they're looking for more masculine things or scenes like this with animals. And this subject matter is absolutely wonderful. The 3D image that you get as you look back through the forest and the mountains in the background is all just fabulous. This is a, a Obasan tapestry okay. from around 1875 to 1900 and it is in superb condition. It's absolutely perfect condition. Um, it's all sewn together quite well. I, you noticed you had it uh, mounted so that it can hang on a wall. Uh, one of the things I like a lot about this is the amount of color in it. Y oftentimes you don't see these red colors and even these greens here, as time goes on, the greens turn blue. That's why a lot of tapestries are, have blue forests. Okay. They were originally green forests and they turned blue over the years. But this still has the great greens and the patina. And the other thing that's very important in this tapestry is the amount of silk in it. 